Okay, so let's give this another go. Hopefully we won't fail horribly this time. And then we really need to work on getting some upgrades for Leonard and Caesar. I think I'm going to start using Caesar instead of Steve as well. So my party's going to be Yuli, Caesar, and Leonard. I mean, I just... It's my only real choice, really, at this point. Ugh, I really hope we don't fail at this. We're going to skip the cutscenes because we saw them last time, so if you want to go and brush up on them, if you didn't watch last one, go and do that so you can find out what happened here before we failed and got a terrible game over. How did the Black Knight get here? Oh, I hit for 300, Caesar, nice. Not one of us. Seem to be taking less damage to that. Yeah. Okay, skip. Alright. We can do this. Huh? I believe. Should heal up though. more damage hit and we'll heal up. Okay, heal our soul. Stay calm. I really wish Caesar would heal himself. Heal myself. that they're healing themselves. They're idiots. Stronger. I have a plan. Guardian Aura. There's no damage while in this mode, so Caesar, as long as he's not getting attacked. Whatever, buddy. No damage. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. I take no damage. Okay. I had to switch back though because um, Caesar's starting to take damage now. Oh, we knocked him off balance. Nice. Come on, Caesar, do good damage. Let's do this. Take him out. More hits. Come on. Got it! Yes! Who was that guy in the black armor? A magus. But unlike the other magi, he can turn into a knight. He murdered Balandor's king. Got it. Black knight, bad guy. <sighs> well, you lucked out. I don't know how to thank you all. 
You saved me. The Black Knight saved you. Why would he do that? Well, I certainly don't know. But those Ebon Wings, that can only be Dinovus. Ebon Wings? So you do know about the Knights, huh? Yes, quite a bit. And now I've been rescued by one. That day must be drawing near. The day that Father feared so much. Huh? Yeah? Tell us more. Very well. But first, let's return to town. You see, when my father Medius died, he told me all about the secret of the Knights. As you know, the Knights are weapons of war, sprung from an ancient wisdom. These ancients, their technology truly defies modern understanding. But as sophisticated as they were, the ancients still needed a fuel for their Knights, something with which to power them. Fuel? A knight is like a suit of armor. It cannot act on its own. To move, to fight, each knight requires the power of a person's soul. What? So wait, we've been lending out our soul so that they can fight? Essentially, yes. A pact maker with the right qualities offers his soul, and the knight is transformed into the mightiest of warriors. The right qualities? Hmm. Of course. The men who made these invincible weapons. They feared that the pack makers might turn on them. So they took an extra precaution. They used the souls of newborn infants to power the knights. Babies? Yes. The armor itself learns from its battle experience, and can then fight on its own. The soul is enough. It does not need a higher intelligence. The Creator saw that if they used an infant's soul, still innocent, they could maintain complete control of their weapons. So they turn babies into killing machines? That's evil, man. What the hell? What kind of war was this? A long time ago, during what's known as the Dogma Age, two great forces struggled for control of the world. They were called Ishrenia and Athwan. Their fortunes waxed and waned, but neither could ever gain the upper hand. In a bid to finish the war once and for all, Ishrenia created the Knights. And just like that, the tides changed. Before long, Athwan stood on the brink of defeat. But the Athwani forces made one last desperate counterattack. At the price of many lives, they used sealing magic to entrap the Ishrenian Knights. Without their superweapons, the Ishrenians were overwhelmed by the Athwani spellcasters. Now, it was their turn to be pushed to the edge of defeat. However, before the Athwani could finish off their foes, they turned against themselves and their empire collapsed into civil war. Eventually, both civilizations, Ishrenia and Athwan alike, faded away. For all their sacrifices, neither side ever gained ultimate victory. In the end, their bloody struggle was all in vain. <laughs> Interesting. And now the knights are free again. So it seems. The Dogma Age ended with no victor. However, the oracles of the time prophesied a final battle would be fought ten millennia later. The souls of the Ishrenian Emperor Madoras and the Athwani Queen Murius would both re-emerge and settle their great conflict once and for all. And these prophecies... You think they're coming true now? I do. It's what Father feared more than anything else. So wait... Maybe... 
Is that why Medius put me in someone else's care? I'm sorry, but that answer will have to wait. Someone has been watching me these last few days. It's not safe for you to be here. We need to leave, and the sooner the better. Leave and go where? The place where this all began. Sinka Village. Sinka Village? You'll understand once you're there. About the knights and more. Hmm. We must hurry. Our only defense against the crisis Father feared is knowledge. I have to prepare for the journey. Meet me at the East Gate of Balandor. Please, go now. Right. You haven't revealed who you really are. Hmm. Well, it won't stay secret for very long. Okay. Shall we head for the East Gate? Well, yeah, before we head for the escape. East Gate, a wise move, I think. We are going to Let's go purchase hurt, some right? weapons and do some upgrading. Somehow managed to beat the Black Knight, which is great. I just mm. I wonder if there's the Encryptus is just this stuff. Then we have the skills here, which would be really nice to learn new abilities, right? But the abilities are based off the weapon you have equipped. So, and because we have not been able to craft the new weapon. I don't think he told us everything. Because the weapons... Ah, see, so there is a weapon here, but we need white stone fragments and an arc drive type Bravo. And an arc drive type Sierra. Eh. Hey, Gregory. Oh, you're at level 1. Garbage! Garbage, Gregory. What about you? You're probably level 10 because you look cool. Yep. Sure do. Do you have anything new? You do! Um. Alright, we'll buy your stuff. Okay. I think I've heard of the Dogma Age. So our party is going to consist of, so let's change combatants. Sorry, Steve. Sorry. We'd love to keep you, but we cannot. Not much of an upgrade for you, at least we're not going to care about that. Plate armor. It's too bad it's kind of ugly, eh? Eh? It's the other stuff. We have chrome robe. See what it looks like on the female. No, I don't think I want to give that to Yuli. Uh, all right, let's get some 
plate armor on Steve. It's actually not even that. It's not even much of an upgrade on him, though. Nah, yeah, screw it then. We're not gonna bother wasting all that money. I'm missing some pieces of this puzzle. Okay, let's head over to the gate over here. Hey, Matthew. Nope, you're level 10. Should've known. Actually, I did recruit two new residents, so I wonder if we can do something with our stuff here. I might just plop a house too in the middle. Figure out how to fix it later. And make it look nice, but Maybe if we put it facing this way, it's not too bad. It's not too great either, but it'll let us put in some more residents, so... Make it like a backyard, kind of, type thing? Yeah, whatever. That way we can throw in some more residents into our town. Flowers, cotton, mushrooms. Who's better though? 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two. and what's you? Your lumber and insects. So there is someone who really should not be underneath someone. Remove. So that's fine. Your guys are fine as well. Okay, so we'll do Graham here as the foreman, and Mimi, you can go to Graham, I guess. Okay, and then I think I'd rather the flowers and cotton, so we'll sign to this house? Oh wait. There we go. That works. Then we still have Samson. Plant, okay, so... Ron has Linus. Who has Mimi? You have Mimi. Well, you have insects and lumber. That's fine, I guess. Oh, we have nowhere near enough money for that. Um, I don't think we can make anything new. We don't have the materials for it. Need another beast blood drop for that, which I do want to make that, but sticky sap ball, ammonite fossils, mini scorpion shells and crystals, cedar branches, stink bugs, A lot of different things. Okay. So that's that. So now I wanted to actually check out my shop here to see if we got any good things to buy now. Because it said we got some new stuff. So once it loads up Ballandor. There we go. So we did expand, we have a level 4 Georama right now, I believe. I did spend the 18,000 to expand it, but now I need like 46 or something silly. Oh. 
It's not a lot of shards though. They sell these pearls now, which we don't care about. Okay, but what about these materials here? Hex caps. Hmm. Steel ore. That's good. Palm wood plank. Those are expensive. 5,500. I think there's something I could craft with treant mistletoe. Oh well. And this person probably still sells the same garbage though. Yep, same garbage. No sparklies, unfortunately. Do you guys have anything to give me? People by the fire. Statue. Work beyond your normal ability with the statue. Well then. If you put two or more rare statues in town, it will increase our harvest. Where the hell do I get a statue, though? Hmm. Oh. I'm not a big fan of my current layout because I have a house in the middle of my lot for some odd reason, but I don't really feel like adjusting it now, so. And besides, when I do adjust it, I want to pick a different land type, maybe like a desert land or I think there's another one that I think I might prefer, but anyways. But I think we'll do Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean it's worth expanding that stuff because we able we'll be able to get some pretty rare maths from it and whatnot, but there's a treasure chest here that I never looted probably got something completely useless at this point in the game. Heal potion, yeah. Hello, Linda. Nope. We will not recruit anybody under level 4 now. Alright, so we'll take a break here, and next time we'll uh, continue on to whatever that place was that he said we should go. So, until then, thanks for watching.